I'm Wayne Van Sluis, Oracle Ace. Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Data Visualizations, Data Flows. So what are data flows? Well, the data flow is new functionality that was introduced to Data Visualization Desktop 12.2.2.0. You can take one or more data sources and create a new data source by applying filters, aggregations, and custom calculations that can then be used to create a new complex visualization. Actions that are available within the data flow allow you to apply transformations, add joins and filters, remove unwanted columns, add new derived measures, add new derived columns, and other operations. So how is this different from the joined data sources within a project? Well, a data flow would take the two data sources and create one data source that can then be used across many projects. In this case, only one project can benefit from the join of these two data sources. Here I have two data sources, my cool cart sales data, which contains about six months worth of sales and revenue information. I also have some social media information, which is tracking negative, positive, and neutral sentiment towards the products over a period of six months as well. I could combine these two within a single project using linking data sources. But what I'd like is a single data source file that has the two of these combined so that other people can use that same data source. Within the data sources panel, we have an option to create a data flow. Click Create Data Flow. Select Cool Cart Sales as my first data set. I can see I have some information related to dates, year, quarter, month, the date, product category, some customer information, my sales territories, my revenue, and my number of orders. I'm going to bring in my social media. I will click the Add Data and drag it to my work area. Select the Cool Cart social media information and click Add. I can see that I have a column that matches on date. My mentions category looks a little bit different. Let's take a look. I have books, comma, audio. Well, in my sales, I have books and auto. Let's do something about that. Go back to the social media panel, data, and I'm going to add a step. Here, I'm going to add a new column. This new column, I will label category. And I will use a function or an expression that is a string function. And this is the replace. What I will do is replace the comma with a and sign. I will go back to my data elements panel, drag the mentions category to this first spot within the expression formula. On the second expression, I will click and pipe a single quote, comma, single quote. On the second expression, I will use the single quote and a symbol, single quote. Now, let's validate to make sure the syntax is correct, and indeed it is. Click Apply to create this new column, and we can see it now added to the end of our columns. To join the two data sets together, we can click on the icon and add a step and we'll use the plus sign and say join. Now, I have my first join input is the top, but the second one, I have to decide which one am I joining to. So I will select this round circle to add the completed join assignment, one and two. I want matching rows from both. I have options, so I can say all rows from one and matching rows from the other. Let's go for matching from both sides. It automatically joined on date, but it missed my category. So let's add one more join on this, and we will select the column from input one to be category, and input two, notice it doesn't join on mentions category because it's not a match. However, it will join on our new column category. And we can see we have no data. Let's add a step to remove the extraneous columns. We don't need to see our category twice. As you can see, it has an underscore one, and the date is an underscore one, and the mentions category. 
So adding another step to this data flow, we will use select columns. Here on the right side of the listed columns, we will use the control key and the click to remove category one, our eight underscore one and dimensions category, clicking the remove selected. And now we see the three columns removed from our data set and we have a nice clean bit of data. Let's add a final step. to save our data set into a new data file. We will name it cool cart data set sales and social media metrics. We'll also save the data flow so that we may, able, may be able to use it again at a later time. Clicking the icon to save in the upper right. Let's get our data flow a name. Cool cart data flow. Sales and social media. Just in case someone needs a little bit more information about it without having to open it up. Click OK. Now it's time to run or execute our data flow. And click the run or execute data flow icon at the top right and we will have DataViz desktop create our new data set. It's now complete. Let's go to the home panel, go to our data sources, our files, and we can see our newly created data set being created. Well this is considered a comma separated file so let's go clean up and inspect to make sure our columns are properly assigned to an attribute and to a measure where necessary. We'll go through and see that revenue is listed as a number, but it's flagged as attribute. We'll change that to a measure, leave it as sum. Our number of orders, we'll change that to a measure, leave it as sum. Indicators, that's okay. Total number of snippets, measure, sum, you got it. And finally, the last three, we're going to change the measure, but we'd like them to be the average. So let's click to change those. Average. Click OK. Yes, we'd like to save the changes. And we now have a data set created by a data flow combining two files into one. This new data set is ready to be used in a data visualization project. Data flows are available in Data Visualization Desktop 3.0, Data Visualization Cloud Service 12.2.2, Bix Visual Analyzer 12.2.2, and will be soon in Oracle BI Enterprise Edition Visual Analyzer 12.2.1.3.